fish on. Good one. Good fish. First fish of the day at a Dublin pond, fishing a Zoom Super Fluke. Oh, that's a big one, guys. That's the four or five pounder. Four or five pounder right here. It's a monster. Oh my god. Stay hooked up. Oh my god. Oh, it's pulling drag. This is the largemouth I've been waiting for. Holy mackerel. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's pulling drag. It's pulling drag. Jeez Louise. Whew, I'm not much of a plastics guy, but I knew, saw how uh, hot the water was. I was like, I gotta pull out the plastics today. Got that beauty right coming up. Look at that fish. That's a five pounder right there. That's a five pound bass. Oh, come here, buddy. Mm, got him. Woo! That's a bass. <laughs> Man, I haven't caught a five pounder since I was 13 years old. Ah. Oh. Let's get this guy. Wait on this guy. Man. Zoom brush hog. A half ounce tungsten weight. A bit. This fish bit really softly, but when I set the hook, I'm not kidding, guys, this is a five and a half pounder right here. Alright, let's get a weight on him. We got five pounds. Uh. Five, five, four pounds, 15 ounces. I think five pounds on the dot right there. A little less than I thought, but I'll take it. Beautiful fish. Let this guy go. Yeah, it's a GoPro. There he goes. Got him. Fish number two. Zoom brush hog. Another solid fish. This looks like about a two pounder. Well, I'm not going to expect to bite, catch anything bigger than five, but I'll take this fish. It actually feels a little bigger. It feels like a two and a half. Oh, that's another good fish. Ooh. Oh, there he goes. Finally got another one, nice two and a half pounder. Still fishing the zoom brush hog. Missed about last three fish, finally hooked one up. Oh, that's a good one. Two and a half pounder. Nice solid fish. Let's let him go. Fish number two for the day. Try to get another three more for a good limit. Thank you! There's one. That's a little one. Fish number three. Husk. About a pound and a half. Oh wow, a wolf pack of bass right here, guys. Literally eight bass in a group. There's one. Got him. Part of that wolf pack I was just talking about. I just saw there are eight bass in a row roaming together. 
Got good my brush hog. This is uh, day two down at the uh, Dublin Pond. Just landed a nice uh, two pounder, pound and three quarters. Using the brush hog again. The uh, fishing yesterday was so good, I decided to come back out trying to get land some of those three pounders I missed. It's a good start to the day. Got a big one. Oh yeah, there's another one. Which number two, part of that wolf pack. A nice two pounder. Oh yeah. This one's two. Oh. Interesting. Snap my line off. Just have to retie again. Feisty guy. Just bouncing this uh, brush hog off the bottom about one to three feet of water you guys are just nailing it put my pliers yo Alex hurry up you're missing all the fish Another two pounder. Brush hog. Let's see if that wolf pack's still around. They're ranging about eight bass swimming around this area from two to four pounds. Gonna try to get some of the bigger ones. We'll see how it goes. Gotcha. Says cold. Yeah, the water's cold. I hope you had the proper wading gear. <laughs> I just wet wade. Okay. Well, you said how cold is the water? Probably. That's pretty cold, the wet weed. Yeah, but it wasn't deep. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, like, pretty much up to your knees most of the time. Yeah, the wolf? Down. Oh, here's another bite. Got another one. <laughs> Smaller one. Really hit me. Yeah. They're killing it. There you go. Killing the brush hog. That's a nice one. Fish number three in about ten minutes. Aye, aye. Calm down, buddy. Try to lift him. There we go. There you go. Get the fish. Got him. That's a good one. That's a good one. The two pounder. The brush hog again. Might be a two and a half. Oh, oh I'll get my brush hog. And the fish isn't that big. It's a fighter though. It feels big. It must be bigger than I thought. It's just a fighter. Oh, that's a nice two pounder. Fish number four for the day. I just switched my tungsten weight from uh, 3 eighths of an ounce to half an ounce to try to generate more of a reaction strike. Just got this guy. Two pounder. Actually pounded three quarters, I'd say. There's a bite. Got him! Oh, another good one. Killing the brush hog today, number five for the day. I put on a little, uh, using some Mega Strike attractant. Seems to be, oh yeah, it's a good one. Seems to be helping a little bit. Three pounds, whoa, pulling drag. Must be a three pounder pulling like this. And I'm actually using a uh, Jika type rig. I'll show you guys how I rig it up. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, three pounder. Biggest one for today. Oh, that's some beauty. That's a beauty. Come here, buddy. Got him. 
It's like more like a two and a half. I'll weigh him just because I'm a little bit curious. He was fighting like a three pounder. Right in the corner, right where you want to hook him. Beautiful fish. Get weight on him, then let him go. I'm gonna guess about two and a half. Two, two pounds, six ounces, that seems about right. Let this guy go. Nice healthy fish. Now I'll show you guys how I rig up my uh, brush hog. So what happens is uh, I got a snap right here. Then I got I put on a weight after the snap. Then after oh, it's a little tangled right now after that fish. I'll try to get it. There we go. All right, so I got the uh, snap. And after the snap, I put on the weight. Got a half ounce tungsten right now, teardrop shape. Then I put my uh, plastic on. So the way this works is the uh, bait and the weight can uh, freely move. And when I'm jigging it up and down, the weight hits the bottom first and the plastic stands straight up like this. So it's kind of like a shaky rig. And this is, uh, this works out well in this pond because there's a layer of uh, weeds on the bottom. So my bait can uh, stay above it. And kind of makes it look like uh, it's like a lizard or a fish foraging in the weeds and the bass. It's even go crazy for it.